If you've ever been looking for a fragrance house that absolutely excels at the art of fragrances when it comes to citrusy, orangey fragrances, look no further because Aqua di Parma is a luxurious fragrance brand that has been capturing the hearts of perfume lovers all over the world for over a century. Let's check them out. Founded in 1916 by the Baron Carlo Magnani from Parma, the brand has began as a personal fragrance for the Baron himself. Uh, I actually read that they used it mainly to scent their handkerchiefs, the Baron and his friend's handkerchiefs, I guess. However, it quickly gained popularity and became a symbol of Italian sophistication, discreet luxury and craftsmanship. One of the things that sets IDP apart from other fragrance brands is that it's committed to preserving and perpetuating Italy's unique historical heritage and rich artisanal tradition. All of the brand's products are proudly made in Italy and are crafted with care and attention to detail. Aqua di Parma has a wide range of fragrances that cater to different tastes, as you may imagine. The brand's most popular line, however, is the Colonia collection which was first released in, you guessed it, 1916. The Colonia scent is a citrus aromatic fragrance that features notes of Sicilian citruses, lavender and rosemary. It has a good lasting power of 4-6 to six hours and has a moderate projection. Remember that fresh and citrusy fragrances generally don't last that long, so this is okay. In addition to the Colonia collection, Aqua di Parma has also other lines such as the Blue Mediterraneo, which is again what I have right here, Le Nobili and more. One of the most popular fragrances in these lines is the Aqua di Parma Blue Mediterraneo Fico di Malfi. Sorry, my Italian is not that great, but you get what I mean. <laughs> I'll blend it in right here. And that scent was released in 2006. Personally, I think it's a very intriguing combination because this citrus woody fragrance actually features notes of fig nectar, fig tree and grapefruit. I would love to experiment with uh, woody and citrusy notes in a fragrance in the future as well so stay tuned and subscribe to this channel in case i ever come up with my own version of that however for those looking for a more unique and masculine fragrance colonia club is the perfect choice it is a mint based fragrance with natural mint essence and a salty ambergris this gives it a modern twist on the classic fougere fragrance it's a great choice for those looking for a sophisticated scent that is not too mature or outdated overall i think aqua di parma is a great choice for everyone who is looking for quality fragrance at an affordable price. The brand's commitment to preserving Italian heritage and tradition is evident in every scent they create. Whether you're looking for a light, uplifting citrus scent or a more masculine and unique scent, Aqua di Parma has something for everyone. So I strongly recommend checking the brand out if you haven't already. If you have, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite scent. Do you like it, do you love it or do you hate it? Let's have the conversation down below and I'll see you in the next one.